Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we are going to be talking about one of the newer Broken Metals, Second Form Sora. This thing is honestly amazing and they brought it back as a 5 mercy pull and they've got like 300 jewels for 30 traits. We're going to talk about the whole thing so let's go ahead and jump right into the details here. So Second Form Sora is here. And the draw guarantees one second form Sora within five draws. Five draws. This is what we need in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. We don't need it locked behind VIP. We don't need it to be 10 mercy pulls. I really just think that Square Enix was in like some sort of weird budget crisis. So they needed everything to be a 10 mercy pull. But this is the banner that players deserve. Free to play players get the same amount. Play to play players get the same amount. There is no advantage for this banner, which is really, really good. I really think the game needs these non-advantage banners where smart free-to-play players can do just as well as pay-to-play players. Just because they're smarter, not on average, but like just because they make smart plays where they save their jewels for the things that really matter, this is one of those things that really, really matter. So having a free-to-play banner, super good. Having a five mercy pull, amazing. So let's keep reading on and see how amazing this thing actually is. For a limited time, we will be conducting a one-time special campaign where you will be able to purchase 30 of the trade medals for Second Form Sora for 300 jewels at the Moogle Shop. That is insane. Anyone who was around when Ultimate Form Sora first dropped and they gave us 30 free trade medals knows how broken this is. This is amazing to get 30 trade medals because right now what keeps this game turning, what keeps players winning, and what makes you pass content is going to be the traits. Traits can easily determine whether or not your medal is going to have good longevity or not. So to be able to purchase 30 traits for 300 jewels and every time you pull you get another trait medal, that's amazing. That is fan fantastic if you're able to almost guarantee yourself that with 300 jewels you can get ground enemy defense minus 60 aerial enemy defense minus 60 extra attack two strength traits that's ridiculous and another reason that i think every single person that plays this game should be picking up this medal and again we're just stacking up on reasons why you should be pulling for this so that's pretty much what this whole video is going to be so 30 traits 300 jewels that's 10 jewels a trait that's broken like literally 300 jewels is how much you earn in a day from just the dailies it's not even including your login bonus just the dailies alone can get you 300 jewels that's how amazing this is for 30 traits whereas if you're buying like let's just say you're buying five traits from the moogle shop normally it costs 1500 jewels see right there so if we look right here for this Syx, for example if you want five of his trait medals from the moogle shop it's going to be 1500 jewels but for this special campaign you get 30 of this one for 300 that's amazing that's just astonishing like it's really really good it's not free like ultimate form sora was but again doing just one day of dailies just to get that totally worth it totally worth it all right let's keep cracking on and talking about why second form sora is just redonkulous so you have until november 4th but you really should be pulling for him right now and let's go ahead and talk about the metal himself so looking at second form sora it is super cool looking it is sora again second form represents that he's wearing his kingdom hearts 2 clothes they did some great detailing here where sora's new costume his second form does not have any x's on it remember that the x's in dream drop distance were how the organization was able to find sora but now there's no x's on his costume and it was just a nice nice attention to detail that i like there he is using the starlight keyblade which speaks to all of us as union cross players because that is your default keyblade blade so it's super cool that we see him with the starlight such cool artwork but now we have to talk about the functional part of the metal where we talk about his buffs and all his effects and stuff so for starters his maximum strength is 34,161 that is really high that is higher than some of the foretellers that is a strong amount of strength <laughs> but yeah it's really really high it's a good amount of strength it's above 30,000 and then this is without any strength traits so let's just say you had like strength plus 2,000 from the pet trait and then two strength plus 1,000 traits from all the trait rolls that's going to bring this metal's maximum strength up to 38,161 that's crazy that is just ridiculous and on top of that 
he's got buffs. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the metal. So it is a multi-target metal, so it's going to hit all enemies. It gives upright metal strength plus 1,500, which is phenomenal. Again, you've seen me use ultimate form Sora, or I think I talked about in the Hector avatar board video, which I'll be posting later, um, but you've seen me use upright metal strength plus 1,500 from ultimate form Sora as a buff, not even for ultimate form Sora's damage. So to be able to do that is just amazing because upright metal strength means all upright metals are going to get that buff. It's not just magic, not just power, not just speed. As long as the metal is upright, it will receive the buff from second form Sora, which is just really, really good. Next thing, it self buffs general and magic strength by 10. So it is a little bit short. It's short by five in terms of general and magic strength. You are completely missing upright strength. So just keep that in mind that while it is a really good buffer, you're still missing the upright strength, but you can't ignore the fact that it gives you general strength. Giving general strength is really, really good because you run into like scenarios like Gula in the Keyblade War, like Barrier Masters, where after you meet certain conditions, you lose your buffs. So to be able to rebuff yourself in the middle middle of your keyblade is really really strong so the second form sword does a really good job at that with extra attack it does bring you up to perfect plus 15 general strength and plus 15 magic strength again we're lacking on the upright strength but that general strength is just an amazing quality to have on a metal it was one of the best things that i liked about supernova plus era and it's certainly one of the things that i like on second form sora Talking about his debuffs, he debuffs the enemy, again, all enemies because he's AoE, by 10 general defense, 10 upright defense, and 10 magic defense. Now we get the upright going. With extra attack, this thing gives perfect debuffs. So it gives minus 15 general defense, minus 15 upright defense, minus 15 magic defense to all enemies, which is really good. This metal doesn't have perfect buffs, but it's got self-sustaining buffs. With extra attack, the only buff it's missing at that point is going to be upright strength times 15. That's really all it's missing. It's very easily compensated with other things that you could probably have before you even activate second form Sora. But just having those buffs in the middle of the Keyblade, again, super, super good for niche scenarios like Kingdom Hearts, uh, Keyblade War Gula, and uh, Barrier Masters, things like that. It adds extra tech utility for when you'll need it. It deals 11 hits that affect counter. There are no notices in this that say it ignores the enemy's count. So this is good and bad. So first of all, 11 hits is a lot of hits. When it comes to things that have a blue counter, they're usually around at most the 25 to 30 range. So having second form Sora with extra attack will take care of 22 blue hit counter gauges which is amazing when it comes to metals with red hit counters it will take away one with an activation with an attack anything that this metal uh, activates in order to do damage to the enemy it'll take one count away from a red enemy now going back again talking about extra attack i feel like we kind of jumped between it but having extra attack on this thing can be beneficial because if you knock out the enemy or if you get knocked out in the middle of your turn by an enemy's counter attack, which usually happens when that counter drops down to zero. If you get knocked out by that in the middle of your turn, you perform a recovery buffing where you activate HP recovery one or second chance, and then you maintain all the strength buffs you stacked up until that point. So let's just say we've got an enemy and it's got a blue hit counter of 10. You activate second form Sora, you get plus 1,500 upright metal strength, and then you bring that enemy's 10 hit counter down to zero. The enemy counter attacks, if it knocks you out, you recover with HP recovery one or second chance with the 1,500 upright metal strength that you got from the activation of second form Sora. I know it's kind of a difficult concept. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check out my video on recovery buffing and how it works um, so that I don't have to delve into it too much here. But the fact that this metal deals 11 hits that affect counter can play for you for recovery buffing or on the opposite side, if you don't want to decrease the count, this metal is not going to be doing too much for you in that regard. So let's say again, we have a blue 10 hit counter and whenever you activate this metal, the enemy is automatically going to counterattack you. That might not be what you always want because what we talked about with some of the foretellers is that their counterattack will always, without fail, knock you out. 
Whereas if you don't always bring down their counts and such, they might hit you with an attack that you could survive with just defense boost 5 max, something like that. So being able to manipulate count is a good tech to have, but at the same time, you don't want to be caught in a scenario where the only metal that's doing damage is this one metal, and then you have to activate it every single time, and you'll just run into problems. So while it is good that it affects count because it gives you more utility in terms of when and where you can use it, it can be both a good and a bad thing. Good for recovery buffing, bad in case you need to be able to progress further down your Keyblade. So let's just say you have this in like the fifth slot. If you activate it, the enemy knocks you out with its counter attack. You're still not getting the activations of the pet slot and the friend slot. Just keep that in mind that being able to manipulate count is a good tech to have, but it doesn't always play into your favor. The next thing about this metal is that it costs two gauges, which is really good. It's really low. Even with extra attack, this thing is only costing four gauges, which is less than the cost of multiple tier nines that have a minimum gauge cost of six. So to be able to only cost two gauges, extra attack, four gauges is really, really not too bad. And with the Hector Avatar board, there is an attack boost 10 max gauge zero on there, which would look really, really nice on this metal. Because remember that having gauge zero almost guarantees that you're going to get that extra attack off every single time so costing two gauges is really low and it's amazing it's fantastic when you remove the fact that this metal is a tier 10 metal with a plus 320 percent special attack bonus the multiplier on this thing is 17.8 now remember back in the day when guardian form sora came out one of the best things about guardian form sora was that he had a super high multiplier so let's go ahead and pull up guardian form sora here so Guardian Form Sora at most has a 17.79 multiplier. That is crazy. Remember that when you use copy metals like Angelic Amber or like Kingdom Hearts 3 Luxord, it copies the metal's multiplier. So copying Guardian Form Sora with something like Angelic Amber will be the Angelic Amber will be copying that 17.79 multiplier that is ridiculous that is crazy so having a high multiplier is really really good because it works better for copy metals and with second form sora sitting at a 17.8 multiplier it is gonna make it almost no question that when you copy this thing with a copy metal it's gonna be doing a lot of damage so 17.8 multiplier, super good, on top of the fact that it's a tier 10, does a crazy ton of damage, which is amazing. Moving on to the supernova attack of this metal, see how much good stuff we've talked about this metal, you should pull for this metal. Um, so moving on to the supernova attack, for one turn it increases your upright metal strength by 4000, which is a lot. You have seen me use my Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B just to get that plus 5000 upright metal strength once in an entire match super good i've made great tech utility use out of that uh upright metal strength plus 5000 from Kyrie b and for people that pull for second form sora you're going to be getting a lot of mileage from that plus 4000 upright metal strength from second form sora's supernova attack it also self buffs yourself by 10 strength 10 upright strength which again the original metal was missing that upright strength or the original special attack was missing upright strength and increases your magic strength by 10. That is amazing. Even if you don't get extra attack on second form Sora, his regular special attack plus his supernova attack brings you up to perfect strength buffs for magic minus upright strength. You're still missing five upright strength, but in terms of this metal taking care of its own buffs, it can almost do it consistently between different fights. So it's super good, super great that you got some self buffs, especially again, that general strength is very, very crucial sometimes. And then it does count plus three. So if you're fighting, let's say like a red counter enemy, where every single hit that you do that affects count decreases the count by one, you have extra attack on second form Sora. Let's just say the enemy has a three red counter. So every single time you attack that enemy with a metal that affects count, it decreases that red counter by one. If you have extra attack on that second form Sora, it brings a three red hit counter down to one. You just pop off the supernova attack and then you bring it up to four red hit counters, which is really, really good to be able to manipulate the enemy's counters in a way that helps your game. So super good that it affects count like that. Um, you saw me use resetting count for the Ased fight from the Keyblade War 
uh, video that I posted a few weeks ago or about a week ago um, but it just came in handy being able to uh, manipulate counter is really really good to have it on a supernova attack which is like saying oh I will activate this when I need it the most is amazing that's just really really good utility right there so that is the entire well pretty much all the relevant stuff when talking about the special attack in the supernova so let's talk about the next thing which is what this metal replaces now having that supernova attack where it increases upright metal strength by 4,000 on top of his special attack that increases upright metals strength by 1,500 with extra attack it's plus 3,000 so if you have this thing running around with extra attack for one turn using the supernova attack, you are at plus 7,000 upright metal strength, which is crazy. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It effectively almost kills Kyrie B. So you've seen me use Kingdom Hearts Kyrie B in a lot of scenarios where I just wanted her for the supernova attack. This is going to do that and better. The only real trade-offs where it is not better than Kyrie B is one, this metal cost gauges. To this metal effects count that's about it that's all i could think of off the top of my head this metal replaces Kyrie b for quite a few players so in almost ironic sense sora killed Kyrie. like i don't know if this is foreshadowing or something like that but i think it's kind of weird that that's what happened or alternatively you could see it in a way where they both work together but for some reason they just made sora stronger I don't know. I feel like if they were going to do that to Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B, they might as well have given her like a few gauge restoration, like plus five gauges or something like that. I don't know. But this metal replaces Kyrie B. You've seen me use Kyrie B a lot. Even just as a buffer, this thing is going to be amazing. So I would definitely recommend getting this metal again for that reason, where even if you're not using him in a magic setup, if you're using him in like a power setup, you can still get that plus 7,000 upright metal strength, which is a crazy just an absolute crazy ton of strength to be adding to every single metal um, in terms of the count decreasing count remember that the reason that I got Tsum Tsum Sora and Riku is one because I love the metal but two it does affect the enemy's count by nine hits nine hits is not a laughing matter again these blue hit counter enemies usually have between 25 to 30 on their on their uh, what you call it the hit counter so to be able to do 11 with second form Sora as opposed to nine with Tsum Tsum Sora and Riku is really, really good. Now keep in mind that Tsum Tsum Sora and Riku still has the advantage of doing super effective damage every single time. But when you equip this metal and you're being able to get plus 7,000 upright metal strength on a tier 10 that has a crazy ton of strength, like I definitely see this going a really, really long way. This metal is just ridiculously good. Again, it acts as a buffer. It has a very high amount of strength it has general strength buffs and general defense debuffs super good for things like that ghoul of fight and barrier masters and it's an attack metal it's just there's so many things rolled into this metal the only thing that they wouldn't have added that would have made this metal absolutely broken is if it did defense break like that would make this metal just ridiculous so it's a really really strong metal and I definitely think that every player should at least have one of it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the banner just really quickly. Again, I just like to talk about the banner before we actually do some pulls. So looking at the general, so these general ones that you see up here where it says general, that is going to be any of the other medals that aren't guaranteed. So looking at the banner, you get six medals that are not guaranteed to be something else already. And that's what's going to be in this general part right here. So of those six medals, there is a solid, roughly about 0.15% chance that you'll get a second form Sora early. Now, I wouldn't really count on this because uh, when you actually crank out the math, if you're using these numbers here where it's, uh, again, 0.14985%, you're going to be getting one additional second form Sora or an early second form Sora once every 606 medals. So that is uh, that is not going to happen. That is a crazy ton. How much is that? That's like 101 medals that you'd have to go through. And that's, or I'm sorry, 101 pulls that you'd have to go through because there's six general medals per pull. So don't, don't bank on it. I would just say don't bank on getting it early. Whenever you pull from a banner, you always at least aim for a mercy. You at least aim for it. If you get it early, that's great. But you shouldn't expect get, to get it early because of those low rates. 
The banner also offers three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals for every single pull. Now again, going to the draw odds, that is going to be guarantee A here. And like all the recent banners, the only Kingdom Hearts 3 medals you can get are the ones before Kingdom Hearts 3 Roxas. You can't get Dark Riku from it. You can't get uh, Key R21 from it. You can't get Kingdom Hearts 3 Larxene, Xion B, uh, the Psyx. So just keep that in mind that uh, the only newish medal that you're able to get off this banner from the Kingdom Hearts 3 medals is going to be Kingdom Hearts, uh, or I'm sorry, Second Form Sora. With a pretty much a 0.2% chance. Again, don't bank on this to get it early because this is one every 463 medals that is going to be that second form Sora early from the Kingdom Hearts 3 pulls that you're getting. So just keep that in mind. It's just something nice to know that you can get it early, but your chances are really, really slim. Just keep it all in mind. All right. So that is really all I wanted to talk about when it came to second form Sora. I think this metal is amazing. It's got so much tech utility to it. It attacks, it buffs, it gives you general strength, which is just like amazing. So I really think this metal is worth pulling for anyone. I really don't see a reason not to pull for this, especially with those traits being in the Moogle shop for 300 for 30 of them. That's really good. That is just amazing. So... That's all I wanted to talk about with Second Form Sora. I will be doing my pulls for him and recording that. So that is the video for now, though. It's just the analysis. So as always, if there are any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Again, the Discord link is right over there. And we do have a new question for the week that we're going to be carrying all the way until the end of next week. And in order to go with the spirit of Halloween, the question is, which costume change, or I'm sorry, what is the best costume change? In the Kingdom Hearts series. So there's a lot of good options. You've got the Tron variants, you've got the Pirate variants, you've got the Atlantica variants, the Nightmare Before Christmas variants. There's a lot of costume changes that happen in the Kingdom Hearts series. So let me know what your favorite one is. Let me know uh, which one you think is the best and why. So that's going to be in the Discord again that way. Um, that is the link right below the video game screen there. It has to be, it's cap sensitive. So make sure that K, the N, and the M, and the S, they're all capitalized when you type them into the URL. Um, so again, questions, ask them below. Discord, right over there. Thank you all again so much for watching. And as always, until next time, take it easy.